you all for being here today. Um, today we heard some good news from the Texas Education Agency. Um, they provided us a letter uh, stating that they are going to investigate uh, our complaints of the Birdville Independent School District and its mistreatment of students of color and many of our poor Anglo students within the district. We're trying to sit down with the officials here and express the concerns of parents and students and community leaders who have reached out to us and have said very clearly that there are two sets of rules within the Birdfield Independent School District. And the more we delve into this, the more we're hearing very clearly that there is a direct correlation between the spirit of the Confederacy and the spirit at Richland High School that is permeated throughout this district that says there are two sets of rules, one for the rebels and one for everyone else. Well, that should have died in 1865. Mm. It should have died in, 18, in 1965. But we're here to say it's gonna die in 2015. Mm. Then we have a moral obligation and a responsibility to stand up and to tell them to take those symbols down. And we want them down before the beginning of school. Otherwise, we're calling for an economic boycott of our community because we don't believe in 2015 you should be doing business in a community that believes separate but equal is still the way of life. It may not be that way on paper, but the reality of it is you have two different communities in this community, the haves and the have-nots and it's time to examine it and so we believe not only will TEA come in and, and work with us, uh, we've also reached out to the Department of Education, Office of Civil Rights uh, and we're hoping that they're going to step in because they have rules in place that says those flags should not be flying, that those attitudes should not be pervasive in this community.